Oh, we go here and get her to his mukbang. Mm -mm. I hope that was not on my lip the whole time. And we go here and get her to his mukbang because Ho is what? Hungry today! Throat God. I'm not gagging. I have some taquitos and some fondue cheese and let's hurry and get started because i hope it's hungry i'd be doing too much uh -huh. okay mm. i ain't bought this out in a while and i haven't did a taco whatever day i'm gonna put this video out in a minute so let's go ahead and get into these. These are taquitos, rolled tacos. At one point on TikTok, they got on my ass because I said Taco Tuesday, we eating taquitos. And somebody was like, but taquitos ain't tacos. I was like, well, actually, taquitos means rolled tacos. And they was like, why the f you ain't just say rolled tacos? I hate them little kids on YouTube. I mean, uh, TikTok. Okay. Look, I don't know how this cheese finna turn out, okay? Me and cheese pulls don't get along. Ooh, get along. So let's see. These are just as I thought. Trash. <laughs> no, baby, it was supposed to be nice and stringy. Oh, I put some. Um, you know what? <laughs> okay look it just ain't heated up all the way yet y'all gotta give it time well anyway i don't give a let's go and it's hot though <sighs> i hate <sighs> let's go it's hot this ain't even hot it's the taquitos hot, not the damn cheese. That's why I look like that. Oh. The cheese good, though. Oh, <laughs> God. It's good, my. It just ain't doing what I need for it to. It's getting there, though. It's getting there, y'all. One day. One day I'm gonna have some good looking cheese. One day. Cap. Mmm. These big ass taquitos. Thick ass zaddy taquitos. What? Okay. Okay, the length is I. I mean, is it though? Let me see. I need to stop. What is wrong with me? Mmm, y'all. I need to bring back a haunted story time because I should do one real quick but no I'm not because I don't feel like it is no long thing tonight but baby I got some stories for y'all asses okay okay I feel like lately
uh, lately. You know how manifestation works. Nope. And how you have to be tapped into the universe and fully submit to it. Knowing that what type of energy you put out, you get back. And what you want is already yours, is already on the way and all that other bullshit, right? Oh. So I've really been tapped into the universe lately, like y'all. Who? When this cheese thing is not working maybe it's this little ass light but when i say i've been tapped into the universe lately baby i have been tapped in okay i have just been receiving and receiving and receiving i let go of worry and doubt i used to be worried about not having enough money and not having a damn i keep kicking this thing having enough this and having enough that and once i let that worry go baby the universe just gives me everything i want and desire Period. but at the same time the more tapped in i get into the universe the more this creepy stuff keep happening my intuition is at an all time high. And it's kind of putting me in this weird spot. You know. Because now. If my brain randomly, like if I randomly think of somebody, <gasps> think of somebody out the blue, I'm worried. Like, is the universe trying to tell me something? Should I call them? Should I be worried about them? Let me see what they're doing. You know, like, it's just like this fear thing has came into play. Okay, because it's, I'm just a little too tapped in where that intuition just be working too well. One time I didn't listen to it. Let me tell y'all a story real quick. Please, no. Listen to your mm, nasty hoe. Listen to your intuition because, baby, let me tell you, one day I want to take the kids for a ride. I ain't tell nobody this story because I sound so stupid. But one time I wanted to take the kids for a ride, right? We had been cooped up in the house. I was like, let's go for a ride. And um, as I was doing it, something in my head, my it, just my subconscious, something kept telling me like, don't leave the house. Don't do it. Don't go. And I'm like, home. Let me finish up real quick. I'm like, like, I'll be all right. Kept saying, don't go. You're going to get in an accident. Don't go. You're going to get in an accident. I'm like, not listening to it. Because I really wanted to get them out the house. All right. All right. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Right. Get them dressed. Drive them. As I'm driving, it's still like, go home before you get in an accident. Go home. Finally, I'm like, I'm going home. Let me just turn around, stop at this place and go get them something to eat real quick and then head home. Getting off the freeway, heading back home. Get kind of hot inside the van, right? So I rolled down the window. No lie, this is all a true story, y'all. As I rolled down the window, this big ass wasp comes and lands right between my legs. Cause my legs are open like this. It land right here. Big wasp. I'm driving. Big ass wasp right on my cooter cat, right? And I'm trying not to panic. I'm like, don't panic. Don't panic. Don't panic. I pull into the parking lot, right? I'm parking and I thought I put the car in park, right? Uh -huh. But I accidentally put it in neutral. I get out, open the door quietly, right? Nice and soft. Uh, what the hell was that? Brush the bee off, the wasp off between my legs, right? Brush the wasp off between my legs. Then I hear my 
my son behind me. The car's still moving. I turn around and the car is moving. And it hit the car that was parked in front of it. And I was like, yo, all day long, something has been telling me I was going to get in an accident. I was going to get in an accident. Don't leave. And what happens? I get in an accident. So from that point, I'm like, I'm listening to that in intuition. No lie. One week later, I'm full. But let me finish up the story. One week later, I'm driving on the fry freeway and that same intuition like starts to hit in and it's like, slow down. And I'm like, I'm listening to it now. Cause I was going to uh, the regular speed limit and everything. It was a little too much traffic to really be speeding. So, and I live in LA, so you know how that traffic could be. So I slow down. Like it tells me, I'm like, mm -mm, let me slow down. I lie to you not, seconds later, this white truck flies past. And I'm like, I say this out loud. Damn, he better slow down before he kills somebody, right? Three seconds after that, he's whoom. I'm like, whoa. Three seconds after that, smoke, crunch, pow up there I'm back here though so I have time to stop up there drive past it and these car all these cars had got into a damn accident because of that 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 truck and I'm like yo if I would have kept going my speed limit I would have been in that accident with the rest of those cars I was like, yo, um, I got this on my tape, my little van dash cam and everything. And I'm like, yo, this is crazy. Like, I'm so glad I listened to my intuition. But um, anyway, I'm full. I got some crazy stories, y'all. It's it's crazy. Once you get tapped in, it's crazy. I'm done. I'm full. Um, I only ate two. I'm trying to watch my figure, though. <laughs> I'm trying to get bad for your daddy. You know, he said he's taking me to Barbados. He's taking me to Dubai. <sighs> anyway... I'm about to be your step mammy. I think the fuck not. <laughs> I'm full. If you're not, make sure you click on the video that's about to pop over here in a few seconds and indulge. And until the next time, chocoholic. Pew, pew, pew. I'm done. Yes.